Welcome back to more Shadow Generations where we are doing a different content. I I mean we're running all challenges on normal. This category is just doing all of all 20 of the normal challenges you would do during a regular run of the game. Um, but just all right in a row, kind of like Ass and Bunwa. You could even call it the other part of any percent that we don't see when we do all stages, all bosses, no Doomwing. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you're currently on my second channel, The Stelmo Show where I upload uh, daily stuff, mostly daily shorts, but sometimes daily videos. And I apologize for not having uh, videos for a while there. I had audio issues, so I couldn't upload anything over the weekend, at least at the time this video comes out. Um, but if you check out the first link in the description, you can uh, come over to my Twitch channel, to watch me live at Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. CST. Don't know where that is in your time zone? I got you. There is a stream. Hey, damn it, I said it again. There is a time zone adjusted stream schedule as the third link in the description. And you know what? The second link in that description leads you to my main channel where I do edited stuff, um, including a Shadow Generations video that's going to be coming out very soon. So like and subscribe, and I'll throw it back over to Stelmo. Oh my goodness, dude. Chilmo is everywhere, man. I can't get rid of him. At least he has my best interest at heart. The different content challenge run. See, exactly. Now, I have run a bit of any percent, so I kind of know how to do these challenges, but I mostly don't. So, uh, this is going to be a terrible run, uh, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. However, it's still, I think, going to be like 20 minutes unless Sunset Heights has uh, different plans, which it very much could. If you're wondering how I use two chaos controls there, um, with certain chaos control capsules, it doesn't seem to work for me on every single one, but maybe I'm just bad. You can actually buffer a chaos control. If you hold your chaos control button, for me it's Y, before you hit the capsule, the capsule itself actually gives you chaos control, in addition to after the chaos control being over, giving you energy cores to fill up another one. So you can get two chaos controls for the price of one capsule. Uh, just like Billy Mays, but wait, there's more. Rest in peace. What am I doing? Shilmo sold my GBA collection. What an asshole. At least he's handsome, though. 7 p.m. UK time. Let's go. Wait, is England really, or I guess the United Kingdom, is it really only four hours? No, no, it can't only be four hours. What? It's 22.12, that's not 7 p.m. <laughs> that would be 10 p.m. Yes. His silver tongue and good looks made me trust him. I appreciate you think Shilmo has the silver tongue. He's certainly more elegant at speech than I am. I, I would just say like the shit if you like the shit. And subscribe if you want to see more from me. And if not, that's fine. I appreciate your uh, small uh, detour into my corner of the internet. The internet has many corners. I just happen to be uh, occupying this one, so get the hell out! 7 p.m. is when the stream starts. Um, it's currently 10 p.m. for you, right? The stream started an hour ago. So at the at the earliest, because on shadow days I start two hours earlier, it means it would start at eight p.m. So I guess you aren't like that far off or anything. I better get sub twenty-five. Why is that? Have do you have sub twenty-five? Oh shit! I'm late. Well, I do, uh, I do start at 2 p.m. so I can get an hour of practice in while I'm learning Shadow Gents. You got used to me starting at 7 p.m.? Well, 7 p.m. for you would be 1 p.m. for me. I'm trying to think. Uh, after I did, um, at, after GDQ, I did stream at 1 p.m. for a little bit. 
It's just math. You can just say you don't know, Arbiter. <laughs> I'm giving you shit. Oh, you want to name a Chow? Are you that close, Joe? I don't know if you're going to be able to name a Chow off of uh, that pool right now, but if more people want to put in, there's uh, like 10 seconds left. I didn't even see that we had a predict. That's awkward. Math major, my math is correct. What do you mean? What are you, what are you saying? <laughs> what? Somebody's tired. You have points to get real with my predicts? Well, yes, but there's only like 530 in the pot. Um, I really need this, please. Thank you. <laughs> Legacy controls, I have to throw a spear so that I don't know when attack the spring. Checks their work. Why are you guys saying I'm wrong? <laughs> if it is 10 p.m. right now in the UK, I would have to start at 1 p.m. to start at 7. Which, I don't start at 1 p.m. Uh... My menuing! Where is it? There it is. Oh, this is the one with the fun skip. You guys like straight lines? There's this fun skip you can do here. Okay, let's try again. You know, there's a fun skip you can do in this, uh, stage. It's quite fun. I would imagine that you guys like straight lines. There you go. Straight lines. <laughs> this is a joke, by the way. Doesn't mean this game's bad. I'm just poking fun at it. It is gonna cost me that sub-25. I have no idea how fast these are supposed to be. I do have to clarify, I did have to turn comments off on one of my shorts because folks were starting to scream at each other. And I was like, guys, all right, I can take the heat if you don't understand my sarcasm, but there's no reason to scream at other people in the chat. Like, come on. Or not in the chat, but in the YouTube comments. Like, we gotta yell at anybody, just yell at me for how incorrect I am about my sarcastic joke. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. I mean, I can understand there's always a risk in humor, right? Like, there's the risk that some folks just might not get it, or that um, you're not intending to have them react in a certain way and stuff like that. No, it just happens. I would say, uh, personally, more like 10%. I'd say there's 10... There's 10% 10 of people that, um, when, when you are in a position like I am, my, my mantra is that there's 10% of people that absolutely, like, love what you do and will follow you to the ends of the earth. Okay, maybe that's a little extreme. But just like really enjoy what you do and will watch you do anything. Then there's 80% of people that, um, you know, watch you occasionally or like just kind of enjoy what you do but aren't like a diehard fan or anything like that. And then there's the 10% of people that aren't going to like you no matter what you do. And like I like I said, I think I said during the what would be the last uh, Shadow YouTube VOD as well, is that... Um, my mantra is that, whoa, okay, go into the sky now. Uh, I don't want the 10% to ruin it for the other 90%. Very extreme? I don't know, dude. I don't know. There, there are people who are fans of stuff that, like, are really into it. 
Um, okay, thank you, Pillar. Appreciate it. Like, literally, like, ride or die for people. Um, so, I believe it to be true. Ends of the Earth? Mm-hmm. 110%. Yo, what's up? Real deal, how you doing? I, uh, in the previous, uh, all stages, all bosses, no Doomwing run, I implemented the thing that you suggested, uh, with the balloon. This is a major problem. That is so sad. Is there anything I can do to not have to restart this challenge? Oh, that. Great. But CC's on the internet? Wait, what do you mean by CC's? Um, what is this? Pillars? Where are the pillars pop up? Content creators? Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah. 100%. Maybe not me, but like there's... Here. To, to end the state, I'll amend my statement. There's 10% of people that absolutely love what you do and will watch you like do anything as a content creator. I meant just in general, because it comes from the same principle of sales, that when when you are in sales, there's 10% of people in sales that are, are ready to buy before they walk in the door. They don't even need you to sell them. Then there's 80% of people that aren't sure, and then there's 10% that will never buy no matter what you do, which I've found to be the same principle, so I was just kind of applying it in a different way. But that's the point. The, the whole point is, th the whole point is to not ruin for the 90%, 90%, not to ruin what you do based on the 10% of people that don't give a fuck anyway, is the point. You love Nerdmo? Wait, why was I nerding? Oh, because I said amend my statement. You're in the 1%? The top 1%? How you doing today, though? A real deal? Is, uh, is your kid's black eye all cleared up? I would figure after the weekend, maybe? I don't know. Black eyes can be around for a, lo uh, a while. Stomo is nerd, just don't fit well together. I'm definitely a nerd. There's some times where I do line reads for a script and I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> I just sound super nasally. It's it's actually quite funny. Uh, spin spikes. Now it's time for the run to die. Don't I have a math major? I do. It hasn't cleared up after three months? Oh, I thought when you told me that it was a new development. That's insane. Three months? I was a frat guy? I don't know if that's supposed to mean I'm cool, but I appreciate it if that's what it's- <laughs> if that's what it means. <laughs> Fuck. Vacation? You kiss your ass? A new? What kind of vacation is that, bro? What's up, Silver Eye? How's it going? Means I don't clean up after myself? My goodness. It's okay to stereotype when it's frat boys. <laughs> is what I've learned. In life. As long as, long as it's frats, dude, you can stereotype. Which is hilarious, because in my college, the people in fraternities generally, other than like a few fraternities, were like some of the nicest people on campus. And I'm not even talking about people from my own fraternity either.
They were all douches? I mean, there could have been more than one. <laughs> to have that big of a sample size of all frats on campus and they'd all be douches, it's kind of wild. Quick to assume, it seemed, even. The goal ring does move, yeah. Went to a bit of a yuppie school. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to assume like pretentious school. Like big, big state school with big parties and such. We never done all the challenges. Oh, I see. I play any sports growing up. I did. Uh, I played basketball, third, fourth and fifth grade. Um, I did play soccer for a year. Um, but I wasn't very good at it. Um, let me find this. There it is. Um, I played in middle school. What did I do in middle? In middle school is when I started playing water polo and swimming. And then in high school, I like fully slam and, uh, played water polo. That's where my thunder thighs come from. From treading water. Because I'm lucky to be in like one of the two cities in the United States that actually have water polo. Ever done all the- If you haven't done all the challenges in this game, how'd you beat it? Because you have to do all the challenges in the game in order to beat it. Unless you downloaded a save file. It does. Yes. What? You don't remember from your first playthrough? Come on, man. No, it's not like gens. All of the challenges are required, other than the hard mode ones. Obviously are not required. Whoa, I got that one. Do I still have an air boost? I don't I don't think Dash Ring gives you your air boost back. So I'm not gonna risk it. Really need it for anything. What? Which muscle will be your strong point? I mean, I'm pretty strong all around, but that is interesting. I mean, that makes sense. Is your uh practice or your um you're training that muscle while you're developing, so it doesn't surprise me. Stumbo can beat us uh, all up. I doubt it. Yeah, both of the dash ring challenges are not uh, not too difficult. I do know that for this challenge, there's some crazy ass slope jump you do at the beginning in order to just get to the top, but I don't know how to do it, so. We're just gonna go through it. I would say since this isn't a redacted spoiler that this is the easiest challenge in the game. Well, your legs are also just the strongest muscle in your body. Like, a few degrees stronger than anywhere else. Unless you, like, literally only go and do arms at the gym, and that's it. And just don't walk. <laughs> for a whole... for, like, your life. Nice. Unless you eat rocks? Wait, are you eating rocks? Well, this is mighty unfortunate, because that's Decelerate Collision. But thankfully, that spring is right there. Alright. You're a leg day enjoyer? I actually quite like leg day, too. But I'm actually trying to lose. I don't- I don't know. I think I actually have to lose muscle in order for my legs to get smaller, because my legs are quite large. I definitely liked leg day though. Yeah. Who needs gondolas? Shout out Zora. You never seen that? Well, I guess if you haven't done the challenges, then yeah. You haven't seen it. 
That's, uh, that's getting a skew, which you can do a lot in this game. It's actually very easy to do. Gondola sounds so fancy. See, I don't... What are gondolas used for? Like, ski lifts? I don't remember what, like, real-life application they have. Muay Thai guys harden their leg bones? No, I don't. I don't even know what Muay Thai is. If I'm even saying it right. My apologies if I'm not. Oh, I meant like, um, like the gondola carts, not like the boat. Uh, I know what that gondola is. I should have clarified. And the metal poles repeatedly? Oh. I'm pretty sure it's called the gondola though. Oh, and that's the run. PB? <laughs> oh, what an anticlimactic end, my goodness. All right, well, if you're on the YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this uh, piece of content. Oh, and thanks for the follow, PokeLife930. Appreciate that. Um, but until next time, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.